Okay guys, so I have been running into quite a trouble. Um, the quality of this video won't be as good as the last one because Streamlabs is being crap right now. Like I can't do anything. I mean, I I can click on record, but then it just pops up with say with something as in like you need to have this and this up to date, and uh, I just can't figure it out. So um. Yeah, now we're just gonna do it th like this. Until I can fix it. Well, until Streamlabs fixes it. But anyway, we're back with yet another after talk video of MotoGP. There was no Formula 1 race uh, last, um, last Sunday or last weekend. Uh, but there will be one next weekend. Um, yeah. And that's gonna be in Australia for them. So it's gonna be back to, uh, yeah, back to. It's like three years ago when they last went to Australia. So, yeah. Same with Argentina with MotoGP, where they went last weekend. So yeah. Um, things started differently for this race weekend. Um, there were issues with trafficking the, um, well, with, uh, uh, with shipping the, the bikes and stuff. Uh, one of the planes that went to Australia with the bikes, uh, actually had some issues and had to land to get the issues fixed. Um, and that made it so all the materials, uh, for the teams were late. And, um, yeah. Nothing could be done other than moving FP1 and FP2 to Saturday. And that's what they did. So we had a packed Saturday. I didn't watch it because I had work, but I heard it was a packed Saturday. Um, I believe like a, few, like a few hours before the first session started, uh, the materials actually came in for some of the teams. So um, yeah, it was close. But it's a weekend to not forget ever. Um, it was a it was a race. Like oh my god! Like what the heck? Um, but we're actually gonna go to uh to a different thing. Um, I have MotoGP up here, which I should not have. Um, need to have what's what's the I need the Moto 3. What am I doing? I, I, things have been crazy, right? Admit it. Um, yeah, right here. Okay, so. Um, the Moto 3 was alright. was alright. was a good race. Um, it was very tense as well. But there were... Um, a few people who um, who didn't finish. It was Anna Carrasco, the only girl in the in the in that class. Xavier Atigas, Isan Guevara, Scott Ogden, Andrea Mino, and Hyama Masia. They did not finish the race. Um, Anna Carrasco had first of all an um, like an engine failure. She was able to get back, but then she crashed. Xavier Artigas had also a crash, I think. I'm not sure. Can't remember. Isan Guevara, uh, his engine just said bye. Scott Ogden, um, I don't know what's happened to him. I think he crashed. Yeah, he crashed. Uh, Jan Macia and Andrea Mino crashed together. Uh, and that's it. <laughs> the winner of that race was Sergio Garcia. Um, yeah. The second place is Dennis Foggia. And third is Ayumi Sasaki. Sasuke Suzuki had a, um, uh, had a penalty because he went over, he went, uh, over the track limits on the last lap and that's not that's not very good. 
uh, in the last lap, it's basically you have to demote a position or three seconds if there's no one close. So, yeah. Um, yeah, but that's it. On Themas de Rio Hondo, it is, um, yeah, we, we, they didn't go there for like three years. Or well, last one was three years ago. Uh, but that's all because of COVID. Yeah. The last one in the points is Ivan Ochola. Um, yeah. This was probably a race which I enjoyed the most, probably, out of all the Moto3 races I've ever watched. Um, mainly because the battle for P1 and P2, or mainly the battle for the podium, that one was just insane um now we're gonna go to that's not the way to do it oh my god why does it not just do whatever i want it to now i have to google every time to go to the next class Yeah, please load. Thank you. Um, Moto Moto Two, yeah, was a good race. Actually, one of my favourites, to be fair. Mainly because uh, both Dutchies Zonta van der Goorbeek and Boben Schneider were able to go through, uh, were able to race in Q two. Boben Schneider uh, got into Q, uh, got st uh, qualified straight into Q two. Santa had to go through Q1, and he nailed it. He couldn't quite, however, um, do the same on Sunday, because he crashed out of the race with, um, yeah, with 23 laps to go. Yeah. <laughs> or they completed, no, they, they, it, he didn't even complete one lap. Which is even sad, which is even more sad. Um, other retirements are Sean Dillon, he had a crash. Nicola Antonelli, he also had a crash. Augusto Fernandez, he crashed on the opening lap, which is the first one. Well, he, he crashed into one, which is the first one we've, we've ever seen this season. Um, and was by. It, he, it was because of another driver who basically cut him off, and Aaron Ford. It was um, Manuel Gonzalez who was involved, but he just had to go around. It was someone else who was involved. Um, well, I mentioned Zonta van der Goorbeek, uh, Femin Aldegue. He got pushed off. He, he he basically got pushed off. Um, I might go and quick. I might go and look at um, what. Uh, might go and look. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going. I'm not going to look at. Um, try and look at uh, if I can get it for you guys. But I'll just put it in the in the description because I can't record anything, other than doing it in Movie Maker, which is sad. Please send help, guys. Another one who crashed out of the race uh, was Alessandro Zaccone, Philip Salac, Gabriel Rodrigo, who's Bo's teammate, Lorenzo Della Porta, and Jorge Navarro. The winner was Celestino Fietti. So he extended his championship lead. Chantra, winner of Amanda Lica, one uh one second place <laughs> not sure how to call that he, he got second place and then in third place i ogura um yeah but ben schneider p9 that's basically where he started he had a great battle with uh with pedro acosta albert aranas um and Jorge navarro before Jorge crashed out of the race uh, some lows was too far behind. Um, and 
Yeah, we, Bo, Bo Benchmark was like 1.2 seconds behind Albert Arenas. And Sam Lewis was like 6 tenths of a second behind Bo, which is close. Um, but you got P6, uh, P6, P9 in the end, and that was very, very good. So, yeah. Um, last one in the points, Marcos Ramirez, um, but Man of Fanati is almost lost. Like, last year was winning races, now he's not. What happened to him? Maybe it's the pressure, you know? Jake Dixon did very well. Aaron Kinnett, at some point in the race, he was just sleeping. He was sleeping. It's very weird. But, yeah. Now we're going to go to MotoGP. Which was amazing. It was an amazing race. Um, but first, let's go and look at the retired people. Jean Zarco. Two la um, he crashed with two laps to go. Um, no, he, he crashed with two laps finished. With a crash. Franco Modelli had a uh, mechanical issue seven laps in the race. Paul Spargo crashed eight laps into the race. Um, Fabio Di Antonio crashed as well with three laps to go. Uh, and that's it. <laughs> Andrea Dov just actually went into the pits. He had an issue. So he's actually three laps down. Um, so yeah. Um, the winner, I won't reveal just yet. I mean, you guys would have probably seen it in the thumbnail, who the winner was. Uh, but first of all, let's talk about the qualifying. Aprilio got the first poll. Uh, and no, I'm not talking about Paul Espargo, I'm talking about pole position. And that pole position was given by Aleix Espargaro. Yeah. Yeah. Aleix Espargaro. He finally got himself a pole in his 200th Grand Prix in the Premier class. Um, Francesco Benaia, his qualifying was... Yeah, his, his qualifying was bad. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll just quickly go and look at the grid. Uh, Luca Marini, surprising on the front row. Maverick Vinales, all the time we were like, uh, maybe you just should have stayed at, at, at Jamar. Come on, he should have stayed there. Oh, uh, the Aprilia is not fitting him. Look at where he started, P5. He is getting to grips with that bike. Um, Jean Zarco, P9, qualified. Um, Francesco Benaia, P13. Um... Stefan Bradl, um, he stood in for Marquez, who did not race. Again, he's missing so many races, so many valuable points, but he's making a comeback next weekend at a track that suits him as one of the best. This track also suits him one, as one of the best, but, you know. <laughs> um... Guattararo P6 and Paul Espargaro P4. Um, now we're going to go and look at the race results. Um, yeah, Stefan Brado P19 because he, um, because like people crashed out and Dove Jesso was is three laps down. Um, the rookies, Remy Gardner, Darren Binder, and Ralph Fernandez, all together, very good. Um, Gigi, um, Fabio Gigi Antonio, uh, Fabio Gigi Antonio, of course, crashed. Jack Miller, P15, uh, P14, that's not where he, where he wanted him to have. Same for our Indonesia Grand Prix winner, Miguel Oliveira and P13. Of course, Luca Marini doesn't have the best bike, so he dropped down to P11, still on the points. Same for his teammate, Marco Busecki, and Eva Stianini, mm, could have been better. Fabio Quattararo, uh, the whole race, the commentators were like, oh, he, need, he needs to have P10, come on, he needs to have P10. He was fighting with an Eva Stianini the whole time. And then, 
he wanted to make a move on someone, Emma Giannini went wide. So, yeah, there, there goes P10. Bye, see you later. Uh, Benoia made a massive start. A great start. From P13 to P5. Um, the Suzuki's were on point. P3 and P5. Vinales actually dropped back to P7. Um, the second place went to Jorge Martin. But the winner, the one who deserved it the most, after 200 Grand Prix wins, uh, not Grand Prix wins, but after 100, uh, 200 Grand Prix with just a few points, Alej Espargaro, he won the race. And um, yeah, we, my dad and I were like, yeah, he deserves that. After so long, he finally has the bike that can do it. He finally has the bike that, that, that is capable of winning, of fighting for podiums and victories. And he just led Aprilia to their first ever victory in the Premier class. And of course, this were there. But yeah, it was a good race. I loved it. This was probably one of my favorite weekends. Mainly because I missed Argentina. Maybe. Who knows? <laughs> but yeah. Um, next week, April the 8th, and um, all the way to April 10th, is the Grand Prix of the United States at the Circuit of the Americas, aka Cota, for short, <laughs> where Mark Marquez will return. And I can tell you already, he's going to win. And he's going to eat that donut. Or, well, if he wins, I'll eat a donut on, on video. So, yeah. The thumbnail will just be a donut in my hand, probably. <laughs> uh, the next race of Formula 1 will also be next week. And they're going to return to Australia at Albert Park. Which I, of course, made a podcast about. Uh, if you want to see that podcast or or something, or listen to it, then you go to my last video, um, last after talk video. It is linked in the description and also somewhere in the eye. Um, and yeah. But that's it for today's video. That's it for me for now. Leave a like where you're at it, subscribe if you're new, and I shall see you next time, hopefully, when Streamlabs is fixed. So yeah, I don't think I will ever, I will have a video up on, uh, on Saturday, but we'll see. For now, it will just be the after talks and then just, you know, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, bye.